It's finally happening, guys. The beta release of the Plutus application backend finally dropped today. All the DAP developers can finally start testing their DAPs with all the necessary pieces in place. This is the start of a very beautiful reality we've all been dreaming for years. Ready? Let's go. I wasn't supposed to be doing a video today. I've been making an effort to take more days off. However, this PAP news is too big a milestone. So today we're going to discuss the crazy transaction volume Cardano apparently had in October, some metaverse news, and the beta launch of the fabulous and wonderful Plutus application backend. Did you guys know about this? Because I didn't know about this. This is a factoid Friday. That's like a robot, like an Android, but it's a fact on a day. <laughs> That's not the part I didn't know about. I knew about Factoid Fridays. <laughs> the part I didn't know about was that last month in October, Cardano did so many transactions. They did so many transactions that it was double the number they did in 2020. So this, I'm, I'm guessing that NFTs were no small part of this. NFTs were probably significant here. What's crazy about this to me is what happens if we keep doing this crazy thing where we keep doubling? They say that Cardano's on-chain activity grew by 50% in October. What happens if we keep growing by 50% and we keep doing like over X time period, we doubled what we did over Y time period, which is much, 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 much longer than X. What happens if this keeps happening? Because it kind of looks like this is going to keep happening. And guess what? Daps aren't even really on the chain yet. What happens when daps go on the chain? Are we going to do this crazy growth that dwarfs what we're seeing here? in this robot fact on a day i think we're we're about to find out also metaverse news you guys know i am always on cardano metaverse watch i like the cardano metaverse things and we got a couple things today pavia improvement pro proposals are now a thing if you know what sips are you can guess what these are Using Pavier improvement proposals, you can suggest improvements and ideas plus vote on suggestions. That's the thing. But more importantly, we also have this. Pavia says, whilst we finalize the V2 map, that's still coming. That's still coming. As of this video, it's not quite here yet, but I know the developer that was working on it was uh, reporting on Twitter that he was going to work uh, flat out and to try to get that thing done today. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna get done today, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see that at some point before the end of the day after this is being recorded. But he says, they say, whilst we finalize the V2 map, here are some examples of what can be built on single, single Pavia land parcels from one of our in-house 3D artists. So I have no idea, no idea if they're gonna be able to execute on this and we're actually gonna get these types of things. But what we got here, what we got here is a hot dog house. It looks like uh, a little playground for kids. And are these like garden parcels? A couple trees, uh, some little bushes, a couple rocks. I like this. I'm okay with this. But I'm even more okay with this. This is what I'm talking about. This looks to me like this could this could go on a beach, on a spy beach. This could be a little house on a spy beach. Uh, you probably know we've got three parcels three adjoining parcels on Spy Beach. And what I'm hoping is that there's like, I know they said that these could be, uh, I might be misquoting the number, but I think they said these could be like 20 meters high. So what I'm hoping is that there, there might be some way to kind of connect buildings. If you've got like three adjoining parcels that you could, uh, you know, maybe have a big, a big rooftop balcony and maybe a little bridge going back and forth between them. Something easy like that. You don't have to let me build a skyscraper, Pavi. I don't want to build any skyscrapers, but if I could just build something like this and maybe put a bridge between the rooftop patios, then we could have some really nice army of spies gatherings on Spy Beach. So fingers crossed. Again, I have no idea what's actually going to come out the end of the other end of the tunnel on this. Fingers crossed, though, they execute on anything that looks like this that we can actually go and explore. And if there's some way I can connect these buildings on three adjoining estates, even if it's just a little walkway between rooftop patios, 
that would be fantastic. Also, you should know with the V2 map that's coming out, there are going to be some predictable features like uh, linked wallets. Also, also, what we're going to see is some image customization. What I'm, what I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be an ability by us to put JPEGs on our parcels in Pavia. But again, it's not out yet. We'll see what V2 actually looks like when it's here. Here it is, guys. The big item, 2021-1105, the PAB release. Apologies to everybody in every other part of the world where the day comes before the month. I apologize. I know that's super confusing. But this is the big deal. The PAB is finally here. What this means is that all the DAP projects we see every day on Twitter that we've funded on Catalyst, that have seen investments from the C Fund, I'm assuming there's DAP projects that have been funded by the C Fund. I don't actually know though. All of these DAP projects in all of their different forms, they can finally start testing their products with all the necessary pieces in place. They've all been working like crazy, in some cases for years. And now they finally have all the backend tooling they need to do this thing we've been talking about for years. For years, the whole thing with Cardano, it hasn't just been that we're going to have this money called ADA. It hasn't just been that we're also going to have these native assets uh, that would be, you know, fungible and non-fungible tokens and, you know, profile pick and you know art nft pieces those are all really cool i think we have a beautiful and vibrant nft community but the really big thing we've all been talking about all these years was this third generation dap platform with smart contracts and while smart contracts has almost become more of a misnomer it's more like it's more like scripts that could execute to to lock lock value in, you know, so it can't be moved, you know, unless certain things happen, but whatever you want to call it, dApps that rely on smart contracts, dApps that rely on scripts, or just a blockchain with programmability. This is the thing we've been waiting for for a really long time. And we kind of thought of Alonzo as the date when all that was going to happen. And while Alonzo did make that possible, I mean, we've seen, we've seen the Space Buds marketplace. It's already running. That's a dab and it's running right now. It's running through other means, other means besides the PAB, but all these big projects, all the ones we saw on Catalyst, you know, all the ones we see on Twitter, all the rest of them with a few minor exceptions, they've all been waiting, building, 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 and waiting for this one piece of backend tooling. We've talked in multiple videos about what exactly it does, but the important thing is that all of those projects, they've been building a lot of stuff, a huge number of human hours put into creating code, creating software, creating things that will run on this blockchain, and they couldn't test those things. They couldn't test those things with all the necessary pieces. This was a necessary piece to understand how everything's going to come together, how these dApps are actually going to going to look from the perspective of the end user through their wallet, how the wallet's going to interact with the with the dApp, uh, how what the dApp does is going to be, you know, how it's going to impact the chain, how the nodes will react all that, like how all these different pieces come together. They haven't been able to test that without this crucial piece of backend tooling. Of course, it would have been great if this had happened at the same time as Alonzo. But I think if we're being honest with ourselves, like things can't always happen simultaneously, nor should they, because you know it's highly unlikely that two very different things, the Alonzo Hard Fork Combinator event you know, let's say the Alonzo Hard Fork Combinator event is going to take X amount of time to be completed. It's highly unlikely that the PAB would also take exactly X amount of time. It's more likely that it would be X plus one, X plus two, X minus one. In this case, it was kind of X plus two months. But the beta release of the PAB is here. And this doesn't mean that your favorite DEX is suddenly going to be on the chain and you're going to open up your wallet, whatever wallet you use, whether it's NAMI, CC, Daedalus, Roy. 
you're not going to open up your wallet and find those projects ready for you to use somehow. <laughs> That's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is these projects are going to, and they've got the PAB, they can actually test their dApps on a test net, which is something they've been waiting for. They've probably all been waiting for this. So they're going to do a bunch of testing and they're going to find problems. They're going to find problems that, you know, maybe miraculously somebody will, will only find minor problems. A lot of them will probably find major problems. Maybe those problems will be with their DAP, the way they built it out. Maybe it'll be with the PAB, but between IOHK and all these projects, they're going to work out all the kinks, whether those problems are with the PAB, the DAP, some other component in the Cardano stack, they're going to work out all of these kinks. They couldn't do that though, until this was released. This is only the beta release, but until this moment, they couldn't really begin testing their dApps against all the necessary tools that they're going to have to use to interact with the blockchain and with the wallets and with the nodes that couldn't happen until now. Now we've kind of reached this point where this like this domino, these dominoes are going to have to fall now, you know, prior to the PAB being released, there wasn't much that individual DAP developers could do to make the final thing happen. Now that the PAB is out in the wild, all those things can happen. The DAP developers can kind of just run it as fast as they can towards release now. Sure, they've got to wait for the final release of the PAB, all those things. But those things are going to happen now. This was really the last crucial thing before the developers could really run towards toward finalizing their products. I'm really excited. Um, you guys kind of already know what my favorite types of dApps are. And I know a lot of you are going to have wildly different preferences in that regard. You're going to like very different types of dApps. But I think what we're all excited about is the era of Cardano when dApps on the Cardano blockchain are a thing. That's what we've all been waiting for. And now we've reached that point where all the, the last dominoes can finally start falling and those dApps can be finalized. This is a pretty exciting moment for Cardano. I hope you're, you're stoked too. I'm really going to take tomorrow off. So I'll talk to you soon.